Oh, hey. Man, I love Hawaii. Oh, am I broke ass? Can't afford to go there? I just listen to this conch shell. Listen to the waves at the beach. Let it take me away. But you know what I also love about Hawaii? Tuna poke. So let's go cook. <laughs> Today we're going to be making tuna poke with avocado and crispy onions. Let's go cook. For this dish, you want to make sure you definitely have a sharp knife. I'm using a Victorinox knife and it was sharpened by the Wicked Edge knife sharpener. Okay, so we're going to start slicing up our one pound of tuna. I got this tuna from Madokai. Um, it wasn't on sale or anything, it was probably around I want to say 15 to 20 dollars. I mean, obviously we don't want to go too cheap on raw fish. Um, it was wild caught from the USA. And I'm just going to start slicing it into half inch, one inch cubes. Uh, you know, it's whatever you like. It could just be a mixture of sizes. Um, you know, I like to have little nibbles here and there, and then also some big pieces also. And there you have it, nice little cubes ready to be mixed in with the rest of our ingredients. Okay, so we're slicing our green onions and slice it as thin as possible, as like you're basically shaving off these green onions. For the recipe, it calls for three green onions, but you know, with everything, do it to taste. You know, I may like three green onions, you may like two, so do as much as you, as you feel like. Okay, so the recipe calls for one whole Maui sweet onion. I unfortunately could not find a Maui sweet onion. I could only find a California sweet onion, which actually worked just as good. Um, I chop it up pretty small just to make sure it's not too powerful when I take a bite. Um, and also, I used a little bit less than the one whole onion that was called for in the recipe. And this teeny tiny little thing is a clove of garlic. The recipe calls for one clove, but if you're like me and you love garlic, and the more the merrier, it's a party. Hey, I did three. I just chopped it really small and kind of added it a little more here, a little more there, however I felt. I probably added all three cloves of garlic, I will be honest. Okay, the recipe calls for two teaspoons of grated ginger, and I didn't go over that because ginger is strong. It will burn my nostrils. So I grated it on a regular grater and I made sure, like I said, I followed the recipe when it came to the ginger part. You can't have tuna poke without, I mean you can, but why deprive yourself of tuna poke without some fresh, ripe avocado? Am I right? I mean it's just the best topping and addition to all the flavors and the fresh fish. I love it and you can't go wrong. I like to say a half avocado per person because one whole one is just greedy, but you know what? Today, be greedy, do what you want. And I would like to say I'm one of those avocado artists and I can chop it all pretty, but I'd be lying. So we're just gonna have regular cubes. Okay, you know when you go to those restaurants and you see those crispy onions on top? Well, those are actually shallots. So we're gonna chop up our shallot, but not too thin, a little chunky. And then we're gonna fry them in some vegetable oil and it's the best topping ever. Okay, so these are the ingredients to be making our sauce. We've got Dynasty Sesame Oil. We've got Ohana Flavors Hawaiian Salt Poke. We also have Ohana Flavors Shoyu Poke Sauce. We've got some Furikake, and then we have some garlic sesame seeds. Okay, so we're gonna do a half a cup of shoyu, one teaspoon of the Hawaiian salt, one and a half tablespoons of sesame oil, Okay, so when adding all of your garlic, onion, green onion, ginger mixture, don't just dump it all in there because you might just take a bite and be like, damn, spicy, and I don't want you guys to feel like that. So put it in, you know, just a little bit here, a little bit there to taste. Um, like I said, I like a lot of garlic. I like a little less onion. I'm okay with the three green onions and ginger. We'll leave it at two teaspoons. I'm not trying to burn my nostrils. So yeah, just to taste. Okay, let's not forget our shallots. So you want to break them up before we throw them into the vegetable oil. Um, obviously, heat up your vegetable oil before we start frying them. And don't just dump them in there. You don't want it splishing and splashing all over your skin. Third degree burns. 
So anyway, you know, you just want to watch your onions and when they get to a crispy brown is when they're ready. I almost forgot the ogo. Ogo is basically seaweed. You can buy it at any Japanese or Asian market. Uh, my dad used to actually pick this off of the beach, rinse it off or soak it in water and then just add it to anything. We'd eat it by itself. It's actually pretty delicious and it has a lot of great benefits to it. When it comes to the seaweed, I would say add about a half a cup to possibly one whole cup, depending on how much you like. Um, I kind of do a little bit as I go. I probably at most put in a cup. Okay, so now to put our dish together. So we've got our bed of rice. We're going to add our furikake and then we're going to just put as much tuna poke on top. It looks delicious and amazing. Add our topping of avocado with our drizzling of fried shallots, our crispy onions as they call it, and putting our garlic sesame seeds on top and it is just perfection. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Cooking with Janine. Happy eating and I hope to see you soon.